Good morning, Hornets. Today is Wednesday, September 15th. I wanted to go over a few things this morning, specifically about our Hive procedures. As we all know, we've been doing a great job with that. If your Hive teacher is not requesting you, um, you are not to be leaving Hive, okay? That means if you have a small question or just something that you wanna drop off, if you're not being requested by your Hive teacher and their name is not next to yours on the spreadsheet, do not leave your Hive. And the one workaround of that is, is that you can email your teacher during Hive if you'd like to see if maybe they can put you on the list for that day. If, you're not, if your name is not requested, then you're not gonna be able to, to leave Hive that day, all right? And you may be asking how you should be able to see if your name's requested or not. Your Hive teacher should be able to display that Hive time spreadsheet for you each day. So when you walk into your Hive classroom, you'll be able to see if you are requested or not, but keep doing a great job getting that extra help and support and we won't have any issues there. Our staff member of the week is Mr. Brenner. Mr. Brenner continues to do a great job with our students. So give him a shout out if you see him, give him a thumbs up and say that we appreciate all that he does. So shout out to Mr. Brenner. Also good luck to junior high football. They travel to Brookville tonight, best of luck to them. And I have kept this on the announcements every day. We have our midterms tomorrow. So anybody who has a D or an F will be receiving an email and their parents and families from their teachers. So if you have a D or an F right now in one of your classes, hopefully not more than one, um, you will be getting a notification from your teachers. So that way your families know where your status is in that class. Also want to share our iReady results very quickly, our math results, everybody will see who, whose class was the largest increase based from last week to this week, and I have the percentages there. I will be around to those classes today and tomorrow to give you your reward. And here is our English language arts results. So students continue to keep doing a great job. Our tournament is down to these uh, final 16. So take a look at the tournament brackets on the wall and you will see if your class is still remaining. Everybody have a great day and go Hornets.